good day to everyone welcome back to another coffee break program today we are going to discuss about lyme disease before we discuss about lyme disease if you have not subscribed to my coffee break program yet please subscribe hit the bell icon put a thumb and uh, put a comment to encourage me to continue this program lyme disease lyme disease is one of the soon asked uh, infectious diseases and uh, it spreads in north america and in europe mostly where the hill and jungle areas are around and uh, transmitted by a black leg tick or deer tick and uh, it is the second commonest infectious disease in the europe which is second to hiv and in north america the causative agent is borrelia burgdorferi in europe there are two causative agents borrelia garini and borrelia uh, afseli these two are more common in the europe there are about 10 species of uh, borrelia but these three pieces are prominently uh, causing uh, disease in human beings this is a spirochete as we know, there are three spirochetes which causes uh, major diseases in human beings. One, as we discussed now, it is Borrelia. Two, Leptospira. And three, Syphilis. Out of these three, Borrelia uh, is the biggest uh, spirochete. Lyme disease is transmitted by Ixodus tick. And this tick is uh, called black leg tick or deer tick all these names are used for the same tick right the adult uh, black leg tick lives on top of the deer the white tailed deer but the uh, special thing is the deer has uh, immunity to uh, lyme disease and the tick cannot infect deer it is only obligatory uh, parasite in the uh, in the deer it lives in the deer and it comes out the female uh, lyme disease tick comes out and lay eggs in the jungle and those eggs get hatched and produce small nymphs the small fellow of the uh, big tick the small nymphs the small nymphs and the big ticks are infectious they cause uh, tick bites in human beings and also in rodents, lizards and birds. By those bites, they can cause disease in those uh, uh, creatures. Usually, what they say is, this tick bite should be there for at least uh, 36 hours uh, to, be, uh, to, be get, uh, to get infected by Borrelia. Borrelia lives inside the gut of these uh, ticks and when the tick bite happens, it regurgitates Borrelia spirochetes and uh, thereby uh, infect the host. The saliva of the ticks has many, many chemicals. Among them, one is an anesthetic so that the bite is not fed to the uh, victim. And two is an anticoagulation uh, uh, chemical which causes uh, blood thinning and bleeding. And three, it can uh, give some anti uh, immune or immunosuppressive chemicals to the area of that tick bite. Therefore, the area is more susceptible for the infection of this Borrelia. Anyhow, uh, by the uh, tick bite, Borrelia is transmitted to the human beings and causes Lyme disease. Lyme disease is the second most common infectious disease in Europe, which is second to HIV. So the environmental host of these spirochetes are not the deer, but the rodents. Because spirochetes live in these rodents and uh, 
they are the reservoir of the environment, not the DM. Let's see the clinical presentation of Lyme disease. After a tick bite, if a human being is infected with Borrelia, uh, the Lyme disease uh, or causative organism, uh, there are three stages of the clinical presentation. Stage one mostly start after seven to 14 days of the uh, bite. It can be earlier or it can be a little later. And it presents with uh, flu-like symptoms and fatigue, myalgia and headache. And the special thing is most, most of these patients can have a special type of a rash which is called wolf's eye rash and it is a non-porotic rash there is a middle inflamed area and it is it is spreading like this in the surrounding it's non-porotic it's not itchy it's non-porotic rash this is called the bull's eye presentation of this rash and uh, some people some of the patients they do not know that there is a rash like that or they don't know whether they had a tick bite but this rash is not always like bull's eye there could be various form of this rash which is not typically representing this bull's eye and uh, so if there is no rash representing bull's eye, still it could be Lyme disease. And uh, the important thing is this rash migrates. It's called erythema migrans. The edge spreads all over uh, slowly, slowly uh, with the uh, days passed by. So it is not essentially uh, necessary to find out a bull's eye rash or a rash in Lyme disease. Even without a rash, you can have Lyme disease. Most of the Lyme disease cases, they disappear in the first stage. And some of them go into the second stage. The second stage happens after weeks and weeks of the bite. And uh, you get the cranial nerve involvements, uh, things like Bell's palsy and uh, uh, neuritis, uh, meningitis, and uh, all the neurological complications. At that stage, the disease is complicated. And in North America, mostly, they get the hard blocks. It could be first stage, second stage, or third stage hard block, but it is not much common in the European uh, presentations. And uh, they can cause even myocarditis, and uh, some uh, cardiac presentation of this Lyme disease uh, complications. All the tick bites are not going into the second stage. Some of them are asymptomatic and some of them can only represent the first stage and some of them go into the uh, second stage. The third, uh, third stage of the disease is really complicated. The commonest involvement is chronic arthritis. It could be oligoarthritis, monoarthritis, or it's a chronic arthritis. And it can cause even encephalopathy, meningitis, and uh, confusion like picture, and nerve involvements, neuritis, and uh, skin involvements, uh, acrodermatitis, chronica, atrophica, uh, like condition in the European uh, species of Lyme disease. So the third stage, persist uh, for months to years and years and the, the three stages are very important as we uh, want to treat the condition properly in the first stage usually we can use the simple antibiotic they tried the vaccine 16 years ago and it was not successful that vaccine was very interesting because that gave an immunity not to the uh, human uh, being but to the tick which bites the human beings the immunoglobulins are gone into the tick's body and thereby kill the uh, spirochetes it was not so popular and it is not used any longer treatment is antibiotics and the antibiotics differs from stage to stage and the duration of the antibiotics also 
uh, differs from stage to stage. When it comes to the third stage, the duration is longer. Hope you got an idea about the Lyme disease by the lecture today. And if you think my coffee break program is worth, you can subscribe, put a thumb and hit the bell icon and put a comment to encourage me. And uh, let's meet again with another program in one week time. Until then, goodbye to all of you.